Welcome back to 23 ABC News. We're celebrating the Halloween spirit with some tasty spirits. And 23 ABC's Alex Bell is taking her brunch in with Bell's segment to BevMo this morning. Today's Halloween and we know a lot of you are going to be eating Halloween candy. So we decided to come to BevMo to see what Halloween candy pairs best with what drink. All right, so I'm back here with Jeff, who is a bevmologist, and he has a setup here, a little bit of something for everyone. So let's start with the Hocus Pocus Punch. I love this because this is non-alcoholic, something that the kids can enjoy too. So what are some of the ingredients people need to make this? So ingredients in the Hocus Pocus Punch, cranberry juice, which you probably have in your refrigerator or pantry, a uh, little Martinelli's apple cider, some ginger puree, that'll give it a little zazz, a little zest, and then club soda as well. You wanna mix the first three ingredients just in a punch bowl, add it to a nice festive Halloween cup, top it with the club soda to give it some effervescence. Feel free to add a little crazy straw or some little gummy eyeballs in there as well. Something fun for everyone, especially the kids. Yes, definitely. And so now for the adults, 805, what kind of beer is 805? 805 is a blonde ale. It's got a light but yet full mouthfeel, um, floral notes to it. Uh, very, very refreshing, especially on the hot days. Easily one of California's most popular beers. And so when I think of beer, I definitely don't think of sour gummy worms. Why did you pair the sour gummy worms with this specific beer? So if I'm eating the sour gummy worms, which I definitely love, <laughs> sour gummy worms, you get that like nice sour tangy mouthfeel to it. Wash it down with something a little bit lighter, yet refined and refreshing. Those fruit flavors from the gummy worms are going to pop with that nice full mouthful of 805. Love it, and I know uh, probably an easy crowd favorite is the Reese Cups. I mean, you see those everywhere for Halloween. What'd you pair with the Reese Cup? Um, so, I mean, there's two routes you can go down. You can go down the traditional route and just do a porter or a stout, which is gonna have more chocolate, coffee, vanilla notes to it. Or you can go ahead and grab a peanut butter milk stout. I mean, what a better way to compliment a peanut butter candy with a peanut butter beer. And for people that are looking for something, uh, you know, a wine or a sparkling wine, what do you got for us? All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the sparkling gummy bears. I mean, with the sparkling, a nice Blanc de Blanc, which has like apple and pear notes to it. The gummy bears, all the fruit flavors in the gummy bears are really gonna bring out the flavors in the Blanc de Blancs. Following up with the uh, Skittles, easily one of the most popular Halloween candies out there. Skittles are really going to complement the peach and nectarine flavors that you would get out of a Sauvignon Blanc. And then finally, for your kids that have a refined palate, make <laughs> sure you take their dark chocolate so you can enjoy your glass of Cabernet at the end of the evening. All right, so be honest. I know you have a kid. Are you going to be getting into his Halloween candy? Oh, I'll, I already have been getting into her candy <laughs> since I'm the one that has been purchasing it. But yeah, I'll be getting into her candy, enjoying it with some of my favorite drinks in addition to some of my favorite non-alcoholic beverages as well. Love it. Thank you so much, Jeff. We Pleasure. appreciate it. Of course, we'll have these pairings and this recipe on our website, turn to 23com